Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a review on a pencil I have owned for about two years, and I'm actually glad I have waited until now to review it. So stay tuned and you'll see why. <laughs> but today we are going to review the Derwent Pro Color. Are these new to the market? New. No. They've been around quite a while. Um, as I said, I've owned them two years myself, and they were around long before that. So these are offered from Derwent, who we all know and love for things like um, ink tents, color soft, <laughs> I think is what they are, and Chromaflow, you know what I mean. Uh, Derwent has many pencil products, actually quite a few. The Pro Color were one that I purchased um, back in 2020, actually. So three years I've had them, my bad. And originally when I bought these pencils, I absolutely hated them. If you watch my colored pencil collection video back in 2020, I even say I hate them. <laughs> but um, what I did is one day I decided to reverse how I used them in adult coloring. So this review is predominantly for adult coloring. If you're looking at this from an artist perspective, so you can still watch because I will have some information that will help you, help you. But again, adult coloring is kind of where I'm coming from. So, these are an incredibly hard lead pencil. That said, uh, the hard lead does make them last a while. So here is the Pro Color pencil. It's got the traditional barrel, nice chunky monkey barrel that they always like to give us over there at Derwent, and I appreciate that signature color band that they have at the bottom, color dipped end, and these are predominantly wax. Yes, pencils are both oil and wax, but they gotta lean one way or the other. These are predominantly wax, but they are a hard lead. So I know often wax can be soft, but these are nowhere near that. These are hard, they are very transparent, which is nice if you enjoy layering, not if you enjoy just blending your colors together. Um, and they will take a while to wear down. I've just recently started o ordering open stock of these pencils, and let me tell you, it took a lot of uses. So, let's first talk about the color range. So the biggest set you can get of these bad boys is 72. Now I know some lines of Derwent have bumped up to 100, but most of their pencils cap out at 72. You can get them in the sets of 12, 24, 36, and 72, I think. I'll verify that in a second. But here is the color range. I bought the whole 72 count set because it really wasn't that expensive on Amazon back when I bought it. And the color range is honestly not bad. Um, you've got a really good selection of yellows, in my opinion too many, but whatever. Great selection, not too many oranges, but a good selection of them. The reds were really nice. Um, the pinks is where you'll find it kind of lacking, but again, 72 colors can only go so far, right? They actually give you a good a number of purples considering. Great selection of blues. I really like the blues and the greens in this set. And then, of course, the browns are actually really nice as well. Um, you don't get a lot of grays, but when you only have 72 pencil slots, you got to be strategic, and we can't have a lot of grays here. They do include like a, a cool gray, a warm gray, and one that's similar to a French gray called felt gray. Then they have their blue gray, and then black and Chinese white. Thank you for not including a metallic and wasting a slot, <laughs> but... Uh, overall, these are really interesting colors, but pretty colors. I love their aqua colors, by the way. Just, oh, mind-blowing. Now, when I had originally bought these and swatched them, I was like, oh my gosh, these things are so hard. It took a lot to get that much pigment down. It was like cramping my hand, because I'm a heavy-handed colorist. I don't layer. I like to blend, not layer. Those are two different things. So, it was really rough on me to get the colors down. And I would try coloring with them and just think, gosh, these things are killing my hand. It's cramping. I don't want to sit here and layer for days. It's not my style. They do well on toothy paper and smooth, very smooth cardstock. They do excellently on there. But that is because they are so hard and so transparent that you can just keep layering and layering. And you're not going to get the wax bloom 
you would traditionally get with an, another type of wax-based pencil. So let me show you an example of what I mean. So this is a smooth cardstock. This is my Nina 110 pound cardstock that I traditionally print a lot of my PDF pages on and I swatch all my pencils on. As you can see, look how many, with just the layers, how much tooth is still coming through. <laughs> as nuts, right? That's a lot of tooth to be coming through the page after five layers, and I could keep going. So that's kind of my point here. Um, these are just so hard to get the pigment out that you'll be like layering for days, but that's where it finally hit me. I was like, okay, you're gonna be adding layer and layer and layer. Oh my gosh, these would be great for hair. I love coloring portraits. I love doing hair. So I ended up trying them out on a portrait for hair. And I was able to do so many layers with these things. It was freaking ridiculous. And this is, this is one of the early ones where I was first trying to play with these and kind of fine tune my hair technique. But let me show you a more recent one. So look at this hair. And look how many strands and layers are in there. But all those strands give it so much more of a realistic look. And it, to me, it's therapeutic. I <laughs> just sit there and flick 500 strands. If, it, if you don't find it therapeutic, then I would just get some Prismas and you can get that hair done ASAP. So I really enjoy the fact that I can just sit there and layer them down and they don't cover each other up. They don't have that opacity of say like um, a Prismacolor where it's going to cover itself. Every color you can see flicked in there. Now I use just three colors to create this light blonde hair. And again, I just kept flicking them in and you can just keep going and going and never find yourself like, oh, I've run out of tooth. You won't, and you won't get the wax bloom either with those pencils. Um, so it was really mind blowing and eye opening because once I figured out their use, I was like, okay, I'm gonna use these for hair. And now, because they're so hard, they hold their point, which gives you that perfect flick for hair and fur and those fine details. And it takes forever for these points to go down. <laughs> like, it takes actual effort. Whereas other pencil brands, you're you know sharpening constantly to keep that fine point. So, if you enjoy layering or you color fur or hair, you're going to love these pencils. Coloring everything else, I hope you enjoy layering. Because if you don't, then these might not be your friend. I only use these now for hair. I have tried coloring pages with them. Just wasn't a happy happy moment. Okay, so a few of the tests I like to do with you guys in person. Let's smudge you down. So erasing. Traditionally, a wax-based pencil is not going to erase well. So I purposely picked a color that's, you know, known for staining, but look how well these erase. It's because they are so transparent and take so much effort to get pigment on the paper they don't uh, stain your page. Like I could color over this with another color. Like I'll grab, let's grab a nice minty green now that I've erased that. I can color right on over it. I didn't damage the tooth of my paper and it came off just fine and dandy. So unlike say when you're erasing a pig, uh, Prisma where you're like, oh, well, it's still there. You don't have that now. Same thing goes with the smudge. That was a nice heavy hand and just very slightly did you get a smudge because again, it's only smudging because it took so much pigment to get it that dark on the paper. <laughs> now, water test. These bad boys are not going anywhere. They are not water soluble. I do the water test because there are some Blands, <laughs> brands out there that do in fact bleed. Now I got a tiny bit of color, very, very tiny bit, but that's within my normal range. I mean, I'm talking like ridiculously tiny. So just keep that in mind. Um, now blending wise, I blended just three colors together. I stuck with blues. Um, 
and they blended just fine. Honestly, it took a lot of layers and a little bit more heavy handed pressure because, you know, I don't have the patience for the layers because as you can see, after five layers, hey, these things could keep going. Honestly, with hair, I probably put, <laughs> I'm not even kidding you, over a dozen layers within a single section. I wouldn't be surprised if I did 15 to 20 on some days. Depends on my mood. I find it therapeutic though. Okay, so I used to hate these things, but now these are actually one of my top five most used pencil sets in my art studio. I buy them open stock. It took a long time to get there, but I use these in almost every portrait for hair because they are my go-to for hair. So that's what's kind of funny about a pencil, and that's what I want to make sure you guys know is I always suggest trying open stock first, unless you're ready to just plunge on in, then go for it. But get a few open stock, try them out, or if you're at Blick in person, you can actually try them on the tester paper they have out, and you'll see how hard they are. But I do recommend always trying your pencils in different applications to find what they are meant for or good at. These were not meant for the regular coloring or <clears throat> more bl blending. However, when it came to layering and doing fine details like hair, that's when these things just completely changed directions for me and became a go-to pencil and one that I will never get rid of. A couple years ago, I was about to actually de-stash these. So always try your pencils in different ways and then maybe that will help you see if they really are not for you or if they just need to be used correctly. It's all about the paper, the techniques. Not all pencils are made to do every single thing. Well, maybe my Prisma, but that's a different story. <laughs> all right, so like I said, there are 72 total colors. However, before we talk about pricing, we need to talk about Lightfast. A surprising number of these bad boys are actually nice in the Lightfast rating. And by that, I mean with the Derwent's scale here, six seven or eight we have a lot of the six seven and eights to be honest i mean look at this chart alone let me zoom in a little more see all those six seven and eights in there quite a few of those only a handful are under that and the thing is if you're just doing adult coloring light fastness doesn't matter unless you're hanging things up on walls or giving them away as gifts and they're going to be in gallery like conditions so really, you gotta keep that in mind as well. But if you're an artist, quite a few of these, and most of the colors I use for hair specifically, have six to eight in their range. So it's actually quite impressive. This chart is available on Derwent's website. It'll tell you which tin set these are in as well, if you only wanna buy a small set. All right, let's talk pricing. So Amazon right now is the cheapest place to buy the Derwent Pro Color. They're $117.10 at the time this video was posted. Please check the date before commenting about any price changes because I can I cannot keep up with that. Um, but as of the date this is posted. Blick has a 72 count set, but they're at $150.77. So it's pretty much a, a ridiculously steep incline. <laughs> However, when it comes to buying my open stock, I do purchase my open stock from Blick. They're $3.49, um, so they are pretty pricey considering if you buy the 72 count set from Amazon, it comes out to $1.63 a pencil. That said, if I'm ordering watercolors or I you know, am ordering enough, I will buy them from Jackson's because they're $2.34 open stock from Jackson's. So you have to kind of keep in mind where you're ordering from at the time. Often I'm ordering Prismacolor open stock from Blick, thus why I order these in with it and just have to suck it up and pay that almost $3.50. So overall, the Derwent Pro Color are, like I said, a very hard pencil. You're going to be layering and layering before you feel like you've gotten anything worthwhile. But you could mix your colors, make new colors because of how much transparency and layerability these have. They're quite versatile. And then of course the fine details, 
they're great for that. So if you want my opinion on if these are a good all around, definitely not. Um, you know, and if you're going to use these for art as well, then you're going to want to make sure you're only buying the ones that have good light fast readings. But I mix and match these with like my polychromos where I feel polychromo is kind of missing a color or these are missing a color and I add a polys to it. But if you do a lot of portraits and you like to color hair or fur or things like that, I highly recommend these. The detail you can get out of them and the performance in that area is just amazing. Uh, like I said, amazing. <laughs> I use them strictly for that. So that's my opinion. It's entirely up to you if these are good for you or not. I just share with you what I've learned, the facts, and then of course the surprising twist that I actually hated these pencils three years ago and now use them all the time. So never give up on a pencil right away. Try it out. I am just now reviewing these only because I'm kind of glad because three years ago I would have said, oh, these are awful. <laughs> and I didn't, I had not unlocked their potential or used them in the way that they were best suited for me. So that was a good little life lesson, art lesson, I guess, art life lesson. But let me know in the comments below if you have the Derwent Pro Color, if you kind of feel the same way, what you use them for, if you've been interested in trying them, I'd love to hear it. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me for another colored pencil review. I am going to link at the end of this video another review that you can watch if you want to keep going with my reviews. And as always, until next time, take care. Bye now.